buying ourselves some time is, is critical in this fight. Manitoba's education minister extends the holiday break for students as Manitoba public health officials try to assess the impact Omicron will have on schools in the new year. It's an animal that we don't really know what we're up against. Students initially set to return to school on the 6th of January will now be returning on the 10th. Minister Cliff Cullen says this will buy time for public health officials to assess the risk of Omicron in schools, finish delivering rapid testing kits to all Manitoba schools, and give more time for Manitobans to get vaccinated. Cullen was asked if families should prepare for a greater extension or a switch to remote learning. We have had uh, to go to remote learning in the past. Uh, you know, that, that could be an option for us. Uh, we're, we're, not putting, we're not saying that is going to happen, but clearly that, that could be an option. Uh, but again, we'll take the next couple of weeks to, to evaluate uh, the circumstances uh, around Omicron and, and make decisions based on that knowledge. Cullen says many child care centers will remain open for children under 12 during that period. School staff are still expected to return on the 6th. At this point in time, we're asking uh, school staff to attend uh, those days. They will be uh, instructional days. Uh, preparing for uh, whatever January 10th uh, will look like. Cullen says their plan for schooling has always been fluid in the past and will have to remain that way. He was not able to say when public health leads will know more about the return to school, but says they will keep school boards and the media informed. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.